All right. Hello, everybody. Um, today I'm doing a unboxing, just kind of taking a first look at the uh, Game Vice Flex. Um, this is specifically designed for Xbox and everything. I'm pretty excited about this. I have never uh, had a chance to look at anything like this before. This is for mobile gaming. Um, it should hopefully work with my Pixel 6. Um, so thank you, GameVice, for sending this in to let me have a look at it. Um, let's see here. So it looks like first what I need to do um, before I open this up is we're going to take out our phone and we're going to download the GameVice Live Companion app. GameVice Live. Okay, install. All right, well that's installing. Why don't we go ahead and uh, take a look at it, yeah? There we go. Open up the, there's always this tape. It's always in the way. There we go. And it's on both the top, top and the bottom. There we go. Right, app is done downloading. Okay, so opens up nice and easy. I really like how far packaging has come in terms of, you know, electronics and stuff. Um, let's see here. So connect your game vice controller is what this says. So I guess we'll go ahead and open this up. There's a QR code on there. I'm not gonna scan that right now. So let's see here. I'm using it with a protective case. Install one left adapter and one right adapter. Without it, install one pair of adapters from the adapter box. Okay, so, okay. I mean, this is already like really nice looking. I'm pretty impressed with it so far already. Uh, it's sturdy. Um, down here we have a little sticker that says this is a charging port only. But it's got, you know, all your standard, it's got your standard Xbox buttons here. It's got uh, the Xbox home button here. USB-C port in there. All right, I don't want to break anything, so let's make sure. Whoa, okay. So here's everything that's in the box. This first item right here is looks like it's a setup guide just kind of let you know what's in the box and all that phone compatibilities getting started all right adapter kits expanding your controller to get your controller ready to use pull both release hatches firmly to unlock the controller retention plate and gently pull the retention plate away from the controller okay so there's these two Two knobbies, here we go, right here. So we're gonna pull those, which takes, whoops, oh, okay, yep. Okay, so this is what it looks like now, sans bone. Okay. When using your phone without a protective case, use adapters from box C. Oh, hey, look, and here's a, what is this, is this a, <laughs> okay, um, let's see here, case adapter selector, interesting, this little card that's in there, all right, so here's all the different case adapters that you can use, you got one, two, three, and C, one, two, and three are meant for if you have a protective case. So you would use one left side adapter from box one and one right side adapter from box two or three. But I <coughs> went ahead and took my case off. So we'll just use the adapters from box C, which is meant for um, caseless. Okay, and so they're actually nice. So they're, they're pieces of rubber. Um, sturdy rubber, 
that should help my phone stay in place. All right, let's see here. If you're using your phone without a protective case, use the phone adapters in C. All the phone adapters are labeled on the bottom side. There. On the bottom side. Okay. Ah, on the bottom. So you can, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says C on it. There we go. Assuming that one goes right here. Hmm. Okay. And how do they go in? I think that one is supposed to go on this side. Okay. And then this one should go on this side. Okay. So here you can see that I put the adapter in and it also comes out fairly easily, but not too, not too difficult. So you're going to put in the adapter uh, to match the same support. It'll just kind of, it'll slide right in and it'll kind of lock in place, which it should, that is good. Um, makes me feel more confident in what I'm using. Um, so there's also, you can use this to help you decide which one you should use if you're keeping your case on your phone. I'm not, I don't keep my case on the phone for this because I have, I have a thing that kind of juts out pretty far, so that wouldn't work anyway. Um, so we're going caseless. Okay, installing the case adapters, removing the case adapters, installing and removing phone adapters. Okay, connecting your phone. First, connect your phone's USB-C type port into the USB-C type C connector on this side. I'm assuming. Yeah, it's a bit of a bit of a squeeze. Allow, okay, so now it's asking me, allow game vice to access game vice flex for Android. Okay. Oh, oops. And then gently pull the left side of the controller. So you're gonna, so you can see here, you're gonna kind of gently but firmly. Um Gonna cause me problems there, camera bar? I think it is. Pixel 6 is gonna be causing me problems with the camera bar. We may actually have to take out the phone adapter on the left side. So the Pixel 6s have a really annoying, in my opinion, camera bar that makes it stick out a lot. So I'm gonna actually have to remove the caseless phone adapter so I can fit my phone in, which I don't know how I feel about that. Hmm. Because with it in, my camera bar won't fit past. But with it out, my phone feels incredibly unstable. All right, so that's actually going to be a bit of an issue. Let's see if it works with one of the phone case adapters. It doesn't work with a straight phone adapter, and that's because of the silly camera bar. All right, so let's see here. I need to use from case number one, so pack number one, which was here, case adapter number one. Get these separated. Okay, let's see here. Try using this little 
new hickey. Okay, got that off. So what I should be able to do is take this to see how much of an adapter I'm going to need. All right, I think I'm gonna need L15. Which is this one right here. These ones are actually more like plastic, which is interesting. And then, according to the pictures, put it like this. Alright, I'm going to unplug my phone for now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the adapter and I guess I'm going to slide it in right here like that. Oops, I'm going to miss the hole. <laughs> so there's a slot that it's supposed to fit into right down here. And so then we just slide those in like that. So that what it should do, uh, more or less, I don't know. How am I supposed to, okay. <laughs> Might be a little too much room. Should I do the L20? Yeah, because the L50 and the L25 seem too big. So we'll do, we'll actually take this out. We'll take this out and we'll do the L20. Which is this one right here. So again, we just kind of line it up into this little slot and pop it right in. And so what that should do yeah, that's much better. Um, okay, so let's uh, okay, so let's re re put this in. So we're going to start over here, getting that USB C inside, and okay, that's actually much better. So without the case, the rubber actually will hug the phone a lot better. But because of this bar over here, there's a bit of a gap up here and down here where the phone isn't quite supported up and down. Um, but okay, so we got it all in there and uh, let's see here. Okay, so they wanna send me a one month free trial of Game Pass Ultimate, but it's only for new members. So we're not going to uh, we're just we're just gonna skip that. Um, I mean, this feels feels pretty sturdy, and like I like how this fits in my hands. So let's see here. Let's get your Xbox games. Um, oh hey, <laughs> Stadia. You guys can't actually see that. So there's a Stadia on there. There's uh, Android mobile games. GeForce Now, Xbox Remote Play, and Xbox Cloud Gaming. So we'll go ahead and open that up. Um, let's see here. What should we try? Should we try Ori and the Will of the Wisps, maybe? So we'll Open Game Pass, because I do have Game Pass. Okay, I have to hold it this way. <laughs> um, okay, so I have to hold it this way because it won't, won't rotate, but the buttons still function this way up and down. So 
Let's try Minecraft, actually. Let's see here. Oh, but you can't you can't also still do handheld. Cloud. Oh, why don't we just do Skyrim? There we go. Jump back into Skyrim. Okay. So I like my phone feels fairly secure in here. Um, it looks good. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of cloud gaming since uh, Stadia kind of, you know, did what it did. Um, mostly just because we have Game Pass on the Xbox and then we have all of our games on the PlayStation. So we've been fine, um, but it feels good. The quality of all the materials are great. Um, the only issue is, is the pixel bar. So if you are doing caseless with a pixel bar, you're going to want to use L20 from pack one from case adapter, the case adapter left. Um, but you can, you can still use the phone adapter, right? The rubber one, and that should work just fine. So taking it's a, uh, Sweet time loading still. But uh, I just, I like how secure it is. Um, this definitely makes playing on the phone a lot easier. I actually wish I had one of these back when Stadia was a thing because it was really frustrating to clip my phone to the controller because then I lost a lot of view of what my controller, you know, all the buttons and all of that. So. I like this. I'm not really sure why it's having so many problems. Um, launching. Oops. I keep pressing B when I'm trying to press A. Uh, so, um, let's, uh, Check some of the info on this as well. So let's see here. The Game Vice Flex, Game Vice Flex for Android. Which you can find at gamevice.com um, is $100. And you know, if you're somebody who plays on your phone a lot, there we go. I'd say this is actually a pretty good price. Most controllers these days are like 70 bucks, but this is one that's adaptive and meant for playing on the go. Um, Pixel 6 series requires use of phone case. So it does say you need to use your phone case for the Pixel 6. You don't need to. We found a workaround for that. Um, let's, uh, Let's see how it goes with actually using it. All right, I should, probably I should turn that off because otherwise this video will get taken down. Uh... Okay, so we'll just continue. And the button presses, there's no latency, no issues with that. There's no, um, like, uh, whoa, okay, hang on. All right, it's been a while since I've opened Skyrim and apparently there's been some updates to the game. Um, so you can see that move, 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 move. Uh, so, hmm. I don't notice any latency. Let's uh, go ahead 
go fight some stuff, maybe. Okay, it has been... All right, that's the run button. <laughs> it's been a while, okay. Uh, we've been playing Ragnarok and stuff like that. So everything seems to be moving smoothly. I'd say the direction control seemed to have a little bit of an issue. Um, but it's not much. I'm not sure how this would deal with like more intense combat. Um, we need something to fight. Right now all I'm seeing is not things to fight. Got a lot of stamina. Aha! Bad guy markers. All right, somebody wants to fight me. Come on, come on. All right, I'm like stupid powerful, by the way. So that was like a one hit. Um, so it could be because I am streaming the game. I wouldn't know, um, which may lend to some lag maybe but otherwise everything feels really smooth um it's very comfortable it's very sturdy like i don't feel like my phone's about to just fly out or anything um so i'd say this is this is pretty good if you're looking for a option an option to kind of play on the go like maybe you just really like mobile gaming um this works really well. A hundred bucks. I mean, again, a controller is usually about 70 bucks or something to, to use on your console. And then you can't use that anywhere else, but this can be used for anything from Xbox to GFN to, well, Stadia is almost all the way gone, but Stadia could be used with it. So I'd say, you know, I'd say this is a pretty good option. Um, it fits any phone with a USB-C, so because this is the Android version. They do have an iPhone version, which fits any iPhone, including the 14, the 14 Plus, 14 Pro, and the 14 Pro Max. With most third-party cases, the Android one will fit in phone Android phones, most Android phones. And first-party cases, including all Samsung phone and cases. It's also got free shipping, you know, for the US. So that's always nice. You can use it for any services, including Game Pass, Ultimate, um, Stadia, GeForce Now, and Luna. So that's really good. Um, again, and again, there was the Android mobile gaming system, uh, that you could open up right there. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd recommend it if you're looking for something to start with. I don't know if there's anything necessarily better out there, but this is a pretty good place to start. So again, that's the uh, the game I, game vice flex for Android.